On April 20th, Starship achieved a significant milestone thanks to its first test launch, an undeniable feat. This accomplishment has provided SpaceX with valuable data to further develop the Starship for critical future missions, particularly those involving human passengers. But being a spacecraft that can fly won't mean anything to Elon Musk's goal of colonizing Mars. Starship also requires to have a meticulously planned and designed interior space to cater to extended duration stays. That's something they've changed. Nick Cummings, senior director of SpaceX, recently unveiled an exciting revelation about the interior design of the Starship that includes a host of features and amenities guaranteed for an enjoyable trip to any celestial destination. Let's take a closer look in today's episode of Great SpaceX. Starship often hailed as the beginning of the end for space firms that fail to see its potential, represents a groundbreaking leap forward in space exploration. This is evident in the bustling activity at Starbase in Texas, where workers tirelessly labor day and night preparing for the second test in the next few months. The relentless efforts at Starbase are a testament to SpaceX's commitment to pushing the boundaries of space travel and realizing their ultimate objective of making life interplanetary. By combining a massive payload capacity and the revolutionary concept of reusability, Starship has the potential to revolutionize the economics of launching both humans and objects into space. A fully functional Starship would so thoroughly render all legacy launch systems obsolete that it may as well be that they had never existed, said Casey Hanmer physicist and founder of the carbon capture startup Terraform Industries, who blogs regularly about space travel advances. And so far, there isn't much out there like Starship or its SpaceX predecessors. While aerospace giant Boeing continues to delay testing to resolve issues with its own Starliner spacecraft, Starship, on the other hand, has always had so much variation in its rapid overall improvement, so much so that Fatih Osman, co-founder of Sierra Nevada Corporation, even exclaimed, if you're not careful, SpaceX will be the only game in town. Improvements are continued inside the Starship, which plays a direct role in serving humans in the interior of the vehicle. Inspired by popular spacecraft designs such as the luxurious and spacious quarters of the Starship Enterprise and yet complex control compartments of the Millennium Falcon, we envisioned a middle ground for the Starship a balance between comfort and functionality. So what exactly is inside the Starship spacecraft? The interior of the Starship is divided into various sections, each serving a specific purpose. The lower portion is dedicated to rocket components, housing at least six Raptor engines. Above the rocket components, a common dome section marks the transition into the cargo and crew areas. This top section, estimated to have a length of around a third of the ship, is likely to be divided into several levels to optimize space usage. The exact distribution of height across each level remains uncertain, but it is reasonable to assume that the cargo bay would occupy the first floor. This space will be crucial for storing essential resources, such as rovers, robots, and life support support systems necessary for the crew's survival upon reaching Mars. Moving up, the second level might house food storage and essential supplies, possibly even featuring a hydroponic garden for growing fresh vegetables like leafy greens. Physical fitness is of paramount importance during long-duration space travel. Recognizing this, SpaceX's Starship is expected to provide facilities to support the crew members' physical well-being. A gym area will likely be available on the third level, allowing astronauts to exercise regularly. Cardiovascular equipment like stationary bicycles and a strapped-down treadmill, similar to those used on the International Space Station, will enable crew members to maintain their cardiovascular health. These exercise facilities will aid in combating the negative effects of microgravity, such as muscle and bone loss, ensuring the crew's overall fitness and health. Personal hygiene in space is also an issue that many people wonder about. On the Starship, conventional methods of cleanliness like showers and running water are not viable due to the scarcity of water and the absence of gravity. Crew members will likely rely on alternative hygiene practices such as using wet towels for wiping themselves down and dry shampoo for hair care, like astronauts on the ISS regularly do. Perhaps one of the most essential amenities in a spacecraft is the space toilet. It. Given the absence of gravity, traditional flushing toilets cannot function as they do on Earth. 
SpaceX has been working on developing a zero-gravity toilet for their Dragon capsule, and a similar design is expected to be implemented on the Starship. The specifics of the toilet design remain unknown, but it will likely incorporate technology that effectively handles waste in a zero-gravity environment. Proper waste management is crucial for the health and well-being of the crew during long-duration missions, and the Starship's toilet system will play a vital role in ensuring sanitation and comfort for the crew members. The fourth level is expected to contain crew quarters. Although not luxurious given the vast volume of the Starship, each crew member should have a reasonably sized compartment similar to capsule hotels in Japan. The fifth level provides an opportunity for a common area where crew members can gather, relax, and enjoy the weightless environment. This space may feature a large viewing window, allowing for breathtaking views of the cosmos. And finally, we are at the top floor, which might be smaller due to the narrow nose, but it is best suited for the command deck. This is where the crew would strap into their seats during launch and landing. While the Starship is designed to fly autonomously, some manual controls and flight instruments may be present in this area. Connecting each level would be a central column, facilitating easy travel between floors in the zero-gravity environment. This column would also serve as a conduit for plumbing and wiring, providing structural support to the core of the spacecraft. To sustain life and operate the various systems on such a massive ship, the energy sources for the Starship are of utmost importance. Solar energy emerges as a primary consideration due to its renewable nature and proven success in powering the International Space Station. However, deploying solar arrays on the Starship poses challenges. The size of solar panels required to generate sufficient power for the spacecraft's needs may exceed the practical limits of deployment after launch. Additionally, as the Starship travels farther from the Sun, the effectiveness of solar panels diminishes, necessitating even larger arrays. To overcome these hurdles, a modular solar panel system may be constructed in space and attached to the Starship during refueling in orbit. This approach ensures the availability of solar power throughout the journey. Another potential energy source for Starship is the use of batteries. Elon Musk's association with Tesla, a prominent electric vehicle manufacturer, brings attention to battery technology as a viable option. Hydrogen fuel cells emerge as a promising option for power generation on the Starship. These these fuel cells convert hydrogen gas into electricity, with water as a byproduct. As hydrogen is the lightest element in the known universe, this technology offers the advantage of lightweight energy production. Notably, hydrogen fuel cells have already been successfully employed to power cars. Scaling up this technology to meet the energy demands of the Starship seems plausible. Hydrogen fuel cells could provide a reliable and efficient power source while minimizing the spacecraft's overall weight. Ultimately, at the end of our exploration of the Starship interior, we can safely say that we see the complexity and endless possibilities that lie within this extraordinary spacecraft. Starship serves as a testament to human ingenuity and our unyielding drive to push the boundaries of what was once deemed impossible. The concept of living and working in a self-contained environment for extended periods is both thrilling and daunting. Will the Starship offer a harmonious balance between functionality and comfort, ensuring the well-being of its inhabitants during long-duration missions? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode. If you enjoy what my team and I are doing, you can become a patron through our Patreon link in the description below. Otherwise, as always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and we'll see you next time.